All right, folks, it is April 18th, 2015 at 8.57 a.m. And I am so excited about this one because I have been in video game development for portions of my life. And video game has love right at the center wrapped in VE, which is another half of love. And that is just a divine revelation from God right now. This is hot off the presses. This is fresh baked truth revelation from the living God. Does God love video games? He obviously does, because there's a whole lot of people down here made in his image that love video games. And we're going to prove it mathematically right now. <laughs> and right now divides by three. We're going to prove it right now using grade one mathematics, which God ordained so that everyone on planet Earth could see his glory, do the math themselves, and join in on this worldwide treasure hunt. Okay? So, video game adds to nine times nine in nine letters. But what God has been leading us to do is finding love. Love equals 54, composed of two 27s, first and second half, okay, in all the words and phrases we find. And lo and behold, I was just, literally folks, I was solving this in my mind in the shower, and I just like, Eureka! I have to make a video of this immediately. Love is sitting right at the center of video game, flanked in VE, which is 27, another half of love. So let's put it on the board so the writing is on the wall. Um, we got a ton more here to share. I got some other words from God to share this morning. Just, um, I'll get those. They're already on the board. I'm going to preach on them. So we'll just clear some space here from our last few days harvest. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited about this because I had given up on the video game realm for a while because I thought, man, Anyways, we're going to see, I've, I've got some other really amazing stories from what God is doing in the video game world. There's an organization called Game Church uh, that divides by three and they partner with Game God Mode X, which equals the same thing, equals truth divides by three. And um, they produced a gamer Bible that is so cool and so attractive and just the, the language they use is so cool. It's hilarious. It's called Jesus for the Win, which adds to eight times triple eight by Divine Orleans. And it's just, on comes the story of God for His glory, okay? So we're just going to um, throw down. Uh, I want to keep these two up because I'm keeping those up for personal encouragement there. Um, <clears throat> but right now, video game. Look at this. Let's get the writing on the wall here. Video game. Okay. And this is... This is not a small deal. This is a word from the living God, Jehovah, who plays with galaxies in his spare time, <laughs> all the time. Um, and this is the story of God. Video games, dollar for dollar, are a larger phenomenon than all of the film industry, the entire movie industry worldwide. Video games are far larger. You cannot deny this, that God likes video games. Okay, so watch this. This is love right in the center. By divine ordinance, folks, this equals love. And then these two letters are the second half of love, VE, that obviously make half of love. And I'm drawing it in hearts just like a video game. This is one of the most common emblems in video games is the heart. A half a heart, think of a game like Zelda, where you get hearts and half of hearts and all that stuff. By the way, the word Zelda divides by three perfectly. In fact, Zelda is a classic word in video games to show for the glory of the Trinity. Why does everyone know that name Zelda in video games? Why does everyone know the name Sonic? Okay, And Mario and Luigi, they're like the easiest to solve for the number three for the glory of the Trinity. Look at how beautiful Zelda, I'm just going to write Zelda and Sonic on the board as two examples and you can dig into more very easily. Okay. But look at video game. Look at all the nines now. So I is nine, followed by DE, which is another nine. O is 15 at the dead center. Isn't that cool? O is the center letter. That is the exact same phenomenon as Jehovah. And as I'm looking at this now, I see total parallelism with Jehovah, who is God, the triune God, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Because look at this, there's an O at the center of Jehovah, and then pairwise threes from the inside out. Well, that's basically the same phenomenon in video game. But first let me get to the nines. Okay? The root of all gaming is G-A-M. 
three plus ones over a multiple of three that knit together to make 21 a sevenfold set of threes. Good night. It's king for three. Now this composed of seven plus double seven. It's too perfect for the number three. That is the root of gaming, gamers, gamed, gameology, whatever you tack on to those one, two, three letters, which is a three fest for the glory of the Trinity. Okay? So, the, the, the coolest statement you can make is, I gameth. And God gave us that revelation of the E-T-H ending, that's straight from King James. That is the highest glory. He's saying, God wants his children to live in the pleasure of the moment. Say, I am actively gaming right now. Okay? I gameth is the coolest, wizard-like, wise man way you could, like a sage. I gameth. It just sounds cool. You know it's the glory. Let's do the math on that one as well. I gameth. I gameth. Look at that. And that's an obvious one. Oh, I'm going to prove it to you mathematically right now. Gameth adds to love. Because <laughs> you got 33 from the ETH and 21 from the GAM. So that's love, which is six nines. And then I in front is another nine to bump it up to 63, triple 21. <laughs> nine times seven, seven times seven nines. I gameth. I gameth. <laughs> it's almost like a Shakespeare quote. I think, therefore, or whoever that was. I think, therefore I am. One of those philosophers. I gameth. <laughs> and, um, wow. And of course the word play equals love. I mean, you, you talk about a big obvious one. To get into any single video game, anywhere, the big button everyone wants to press is play. <laughs> play. I want to play right now. <laughs> play equals love. 54. Do the math. You can do it yourself. But now, so back to our story video game here, so 21 plus 15 is of course 36, so we're finding 9's here. So you got 9, 9, 36, that equals 54, equals love in the dead center of video game, and then V plus E are the last two letters of love, L-O-V-E, makes 27. So the whole thing is of course 81, which is love plus love plus half of love, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, by divine ordinance to the glory of the triune God, who owns everything, designed all the game developers in world history, designed all the game players in world history, designed all the technology that has ever been used and will ever be used in world history, and God knows it all. And he likes video games. I just, I love, I love looking at the world and seeing all these people that God created and he gave them love for video games. If you go to one of these game developers conferences, and you just walk around and talk to the people and see the excitement in their eyes and the joy on their faces as they're talking about playing new games. i got a friend named Justin Howell, you know, that he, man, he just loves thinking about games. He loves designing games. He loves talking about scoring and, like, cool bonus points and, like, secrets and stuff like that. It's totally cool. It just, you have to look at everyone that God made and say to yourself, what can this person, what can this group of people teach me about God? Okay, because there's so much love here for this wonderful phenomenon called creativity, imagination, interactive entertainment that is a massive phenomenon um, in the story of God. So, I'm so excited about this because um, can you imagine if every single game developer and every single game player was filled with this knowledge from their youth and was filled with the Holy Ghost and was filled with the truth of God and was in love with Jesus and going to heaven and filled with the Holy Ghost? Can you imagine what kind of video games we would produce? Can you imagine what kind of entertainment, family, fun experiences, the friendships we would have? It would just be the greatest party that the world has never seen. Okay, so. Video game equals love plus half a love. I'm telling you by divine ordinance. Now count the number of letters. Nine. That's three times three. Count the number of syllables. Vid, eo, game. Basically three. Um, and then count the number of strokes. And then I want to point out the similarities between video game and Jehovah so that you can understand that Jehovah, who is Jehovah? He is three persons. When God, open your Bible to the story of God and Gen uh, Abraham, when God, Jehovah, that's his personal name recorded, appears to Abraham, he shows up as three men in human flesh. Three people. Okay? And that's why you love spending time with friends. It's why you love gaming next to someone or against someone. 
It's why you love meeting new people. It's why you love working together with others. You don't want to sit in a cave all by yourself or be on a private island your whole life. That is not the nature of God in you. You, by nature, are a team player because God is a team. God is three people. It's the coolest, coolest fact about God that everyone needs to know. Okay? So, um, how many strokes? Now you count the number of strokes to carve the word video game in stone, in gold, in diamond, in brick, in world history. Okay? Um, because this is on the lips of men by the millions as we speak right now, and God talks about video games all the time. <laughs> okay? And I can't wait to see what video games are going to do when people get filled with truth and they get filled with the knowledge of God. God, only, God knows. God knows what's going to happen. I'm just excited right now. Okay, so um, how many strokes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 3 is um, 13, 16, plus 4 is 20, 24. Oh my goodness, somebody call the monarch. Um, the president, the prime minister, just call someone. Your grandma. Uh, <laughs> Grandma, did you know that there's a guy that just proved mathematically that video games are cool? I've been freed by the blood of the land. I mean, there's kids like pulling open their game systems, putting in a marathon. I mean, okay. In the name of love, just if it's, okay, I'm not going to, anyways. No, seriously, if it inspires you to worship God more, if it makes you say, I love you, God, remember the greatest thing God wants from all of his kids down here is, I love you, God. He just wants you to be nuts about him. He wants you to be nuts about him and in love with him and in love with life. So, with an all due, you know, balance and everything, if playing video games makes you say, I love you, God, you're so cool, I love this, then do it, <laughs> okay? And you, you'll do it in a proper balance, okay? I think one of the things that, well, when, when you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you just have your desires healed. And if there is some unhealthy level of, you know, spending time at one certain thing that you had before, God will naturally, it's all natural, folks, He will naturally change that desire inside of you by His beautiful, loving work in you. So you don't have to feel guilty or worry about things. It just, you will just know. You know, what, what amount of time to spend playing video games and you'll want to spend, you'll want to play the bright, the beautiful games, the uplifting ones, the ones that are joyful, happy, hilarious, make you laugh. I want to see a laughter, I want to see a season of laughter come to video games. We got so many video games that are serious and they don't make me laugh. They don't make me like laugh out loud and like send it to someone else and say, this is hilarious, man. This thing is just cracking me up. Like they got one-liners in here. They got crazy voiceovers in here. It's hilarious. The art is cute. It's funny. Um, I'd like to see more laughter in video games, personally. Um, okay, so video game uh, equals 81 in nine letters and 24 strokes. Folks, like, there are king numbers for the number three. There are kings for the number three, and then there are kings of kings for the number three. Well, you're staring at all three of them in one stack in this word video game. Grand total is 81. Three times three times three times three. Composed of love plus half a love, with love sitting at the dead center, wrapped in the half a love, which are the two last letters of love, V-E. <laughs> You've got nine letters. That's three times three. <laughs> You've got 24 strokes. That's triple eight. Um... The word video game is so maximum for the glory of the triune God, it's not even funny. So, can you imagine if this truth was taught to every single child in grade one right now all across North America? We would have so many beautiful, clean, godly, laughter-filled, joy-filled, talented, amazing video games and entertainment content in a big way in our country. It would make the entire world weep and every generation that ever came before us. They'd be like, man, that country is stinking happy, and they're funny, and they're healthy, and they're creative, and they're just imagining these crazy beautiful stories and amazing content, and technology is just boom, just like, okay. Um, so, video game, um, that's a huge one. Man, that's good. 
I'm so happy about that one. Oh, gem from the living God, word from the living God in real time. And as we give, what we receive, God gives us more. The word developer divides by three. So right now, we're going to solve every single video game developer in the history of the universe because these are the guys that produce the content. And I have been a video game developer for significant portions of my life. And I love video game people. They're creative, they're funny, they're quirky, they're unique, they're cool, they are insightful, they're patient, and they are smart. They're smart, man, and they're gifted, they're artistic, I mean, there is so much talent in the video game development world, it blows my mind sometimes. Um, some of the brightest people, some of the most genius-like figures are in this world of creative imagination. Um, so, developer. Let's get developer on the board. On the board! Um, and then I want to come back to the parallelism. I want to also visit this symmetrical effect that we see in video game and Jehovah that is like so obvious. These two gems I'm keeping on the board for my personal meditation and practice in my ongoing life. God has been telling me to be gut first, gut driven. That's the Holy Ghost. He lives in your gut. That is, let your gut do what it wants to do. That's the Holy Ghost. Okay, so developer. So a video game developer. Oh man, can we find love in the word developer? Yeah, it's sitting there in the exact letters. Developer. Oh my goodness. This is out of control. I'm, I'm feeling my joy come back for video games because... Anyways. Whoa. Oh. Mm. Um, so can we, oh my goodness. So the word love is basically right at the center of developer. There it is, letter for letter, V-E-L-O. Amazing. It's like God just sliced the word love in half, shifted the L over, L -O, the L and the O over, and moved the V-E to the left, and just placed it right there in the word developer. Can we find love in a developer? Yeah, it's sitting right there. Think about all the care and the patience and the painstaking analysis and scrutiny that a developer... Folks, you have to be a perfectionist to be a video game developer. When you write code, there is no margin for error. It has to be exact. Well, if that's the way millions of people are on this planet, how much more is God? God says everything has to be exact. English has to be spelled exactly so that the numbers add up to glorify myself. Okay. God is perfect and God speaks English, therefore English must be perfect mathematically to glorify himself day and night, and that's what we find. And God has been leading us to find love in all the words and phrases that we find, and we are finding it in the most beautiful and central and symmetrical places. It's overwhelming. So love is at the center of developer. It's also at the center of video game. So let's find more. The rest of the things divide by three. You've got the DE that make nine in front. And that is common in the word video game as well. You've got the PE that knit together to make 21 and back, and then it ends with R, which divides by 3, being 18. The more you look for 3s, the more you find. There's exactly 3 letters in developer that divide by 3. Once again, there are 9 letters, just like video game. 3 times 3. Developer, 9 letters. Video game, 9 letters. 3 times 3. Um, we'll count the strokes. Let's get the grand total first. That's 48 plus um, 27. Oh my goodness, it is uh, 75. 75, six points less than video game, both dividing by three. So a video game developer now is uh, 156. And this is screamingly good. This number 156 for the number three. It's 12 times 13. And I have just been seeing it like crazy in, okay, just, Trust me. Um, <clears throat> so, now how many strokes to write this word developer? Six, seven, eight, okay, six plus six. Wow, I've just noticed something cool. There's a lot of letters that pair with E side by side that go two strokes plus four strokes because a capital E is four strokes and then a D is two strokes, a V is two strokes, and a P is two strokes. Okay, so together a multiple of three strokes is what I'm saying. Six strokes, six strokes, six strokes. That's amazing. So we got 18 strokes for there, 
And then we got, oh my goodness, the this, this stroke for stroke count in developer is mind blowing. I gotta really focus on the strokes in this word because it's too beautiful. Look at this, every single pair of letters going down the pipe. In fact, this is a huge wow. Every single pair of letters going down the pipe in developer not only divides by three, but the number of strokes to write the pair of letters divides by three. Listen to this. DE adds to nine in six strokes. VE adds to 27 in six strokes. By the way, folks, sometimes I can't believe I'm doing this. LO adds to 27, again, okay, in three strokes. Two for an L, one for an O. PE adds to 21 in six strokes, and R equals 18 in three strokes. Good night. And good night divides by three. I believe it's nine times nine in, in nine letters, or 90 or something like that, or 99, whatever. Um, that's a miracle. So let's underline those pairs of letters. Pair, 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 solo, prophet, superstar on the end. <laughs> wow. Someone say the word developer right now and just get happy. Developer. And when you do say the word developer, in any kind of career context, maybe a career website or a career, just career counselor, in some kind of discussion about career, if you say to someone at a party, I'm a developer, if they're well read, they will say, oh, you make video games. For some reason, that word developer or software, okay, you know, they'll, that word is, is strongly associated with software and in particular video games. Developer. A video game developer. Okay? A software developer. It's just by God's sovereignty. Okay? So look at that. Man, so, so six strokes plus six strokes plus three strokes plus six strokes plus three strokes. <sighs> Folks, I'm going to have a heart attack here. That adds to 24 strokes perfectly. That's the same number of strokes as video game. You know what? I'm just going to pass it on my bed and get back up again just for dramatic effect. 24 strokes to write video game and 24 strokes to write developer. I have to do that one more time because it's so overwhelming. This is the first time in world history that anyone has ever seen this or noticed it, whatever. Uh, so, and then what is the grand total of developer? Everyone wants to know. Um, and then, of course, when you say I am a, that equals 24 divided by 3, so I am a video game developer. <laughs> we'll perfectly add to 180. 3 digit all factor 8 divided by 3 to 24 interlocking with that. Okay. Um, so, man, I'm going to be proud to call myself I am a video game developer. Um, so, 20 is 54, so there's love. Um, and then we're, we're going to find another love, or, um, well, that's fine. Uh, 54 plus 21, or 54, 84 plus 18, 102. Wow! Developer adds to 102, which is the first three digit number that divides by three perfectly. King for three. It is also uh, the first three digit all factor eight number to glorify Jesus equals eight today because 102, one and two are both factors of eight. Genius. So, there, the current date and time for historic purposes is 921 divides by 3 nicely a.m. on April 18th, which divides by 3 perfectly 2015. That every video game and every video game developer and every developer period were solved in the history of the universe uh, for the glory of the triune God. So developer, um, in nine letters, 24 strokes, that's the exact same as video game. I mean, you cannot deny this. Video game takes nine letters, developer takes nine letters. Video game takes 24 strokes, developer takes 24 strokes. I'm going to cry, folks. Uh, the whole, <laughs> this one adds to 81, this one adds to 102. So a video game developer adds to 183, which equals Christ the Redeemer, which equals Cristo Redentor in Portuguese, the most famous statue of Jesus Christ in world history. Wow! <laughs> there you go. Um, 
And that number 183 is 3 times 61, and 61 is, lo and behold, the 18th prime. Divides by 3, just like the current day is April 18th. So, um, so now, all together, I am a video game developer. That is, now, I, 81 plus 56. Oh, we already did that. Wait a second, wait a second. I, I, I spoke something incorrectly there. Developer added to 74. Five. Where did I... Oh, I was counting the number of strokes. Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry. I was looking at these extra green numbers. The number of strokes is 102. The total was 75. We already did that. Video game developer was 156. Beg your pardon. I was looking at the green numbers there. So, good. Good, good, good. Um, that is so cool. So cool. But uh, this, this one you should memorize, the word video game itself. And because this is very special. Because there's a lot of confusion in people's minds right now about what we should do with video games. <laughs> and what does God think of video games? Well, quite clearly, video games exist for the purpose of love, and therefore they should be made in the intention of fostering love among people. That should be the number one thing on the minds of people creating video games is love. How, how can this game produce, convey, give as much love to people as possible? Okay. Um, and uh, God is love. As we learn more about God and as we understand His nature, we will simply, naturally, desire to produce content that brings joy to others and is uplifting and inspiring and pr promotes laughter and uh, sets people free to have a good time and um, even get some exercise, whatever, just God will lead you. It's a personal relationship you're in. That's the whole point. Um, but I'm so excited about this one. Love that. Okay, and then I got some cool... Um, I got some cool gems that I share with you. I'm just going to pull you over the computer because I just wrote them in a document. That's the beauty of just having this in a, um, and yes, my computer is fully dedicated to Jesus. Um, okay, so, this is so cool. Some keywords that divide by three here. And I, I discovered a, uh, I was poking around uh, at the uh, GDC, Game Developers Conference, and they, there is an organization called Game Church that passes out Bibles and more or less shares the gospel at these events. So Game Church equals 87 equals truth. They partner with an organization called Game uh, God Mode X, which equals the same thing. Um, and they produce a Bible called Jesus for the Win, which is 8 times AAA. And by the way, folks, I have had that one-up sound effect on my calculator, my treasure hunting calculator, from the very beginning. Like, it was just, I knew... That was the sound effect. The one up, the famous one up from Mario, which has three notes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Da, na, 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 na. And the first, if you, if you research the history on the, the one up sound effect, you will discover that the first and the fourth note are the same. The second and the fifth note are the same. And then the third and the sixth note are meant to go together with the sixth note being higher than the third note. But it's the exact same thing God did in the six days of creation, where day one was completed on day four, day two was completed on day five, and day three was completed on day six. How that works is God created light on day one, and then he created the sun, the moon, and the stars on day four. That's all light. On day two, he creates the waters above and the waters beneath. He separates them with the firmament. On day five, he populates those two regions, the heavens with the birds, and the, the um, sea with the waters with the uh, fish, and the seas. And then on day three, God creates the land vegetation that ultimately supports the life that he creates on day six, all the animals, the land creatures, and mankind made in his image. So the six days of creation glorify the triune God, being two pairs of three, day one, day four, day two, and day five, day three, and day six. Well, that's the exact same thing you hear in the one-up sound effect. Listen. One more time. Dun, 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 dun. The first note equals the fourth note, the second note equals the fifth note, and the third note is followed by the sixth note, which is the high. 
So every time you hear that sound effect, it glorifies the six days of creation, glorifies the triune God by divine order. So I encourage you, check out this Bible, Jesus for the Win. Um, it is just plain fantastic. Like it's stylized, it's got the language that it uses, um, appeals to uh, um, people in the game world. I love this, they got a little allusion there to the, uh, the wanting the truth. Um, but uh, GameChurch.com, um, and so I was just, you know, reading about them. Uh, a podcast divides by three, Game Church divides by three. <laughs> Better than that, they're, in, they're a division of Epic Ministries. Well, both words divide by three. Epic is 33. Ministries is love plus love plus half a love. Put them together. Sevenfold set of triple eights. Genius. Um, so it's just a miracle. And then, of course, all gamers divide by three in six letters and 18 strokes. Uh, here's a whole bunch of gamers, you know, on a floor. And um, so Game Church exists to bridge the gap between the gospel and the gamer. And uh, that's what they do. They visit these large events. There were a lot of gamers attend and they pass out um, this Bible and talk to people. Uh, the name of the Bible is, um, uh, you can uh, wear... It's so cool. They got a, a logo of, of Jesus playing a video, holding a controller and playing a video game. And okay, so um, I just wanted to share those gems with you. Um, and so we'll just go back to the, the board here. So that's so epic that we solved. Uh, so let's just finish. I just want to point out a couple more things that we wanted to talk about. And that was um, the parallelism. It's okay if this is off. It's all parallelism between... Jehovah and video game both have an O at dead center. Like if you remove the space in video game, then uh, the O is at dead center just like in Jehovah. And then pairwise threes, you can go E and G. And then the D is together with the A and the M, a trio there. The I divides by three all by itself. So he could join this, you know, symmetrical cluster here. Threes, threes. And then the VE, obviously, make a final 3 times 3 times 3. So very similar to Jehovah. Very, very similar. Um, and uh, lots of nines in a way. Like this, like this makes double nine at the bookends. And then the, this cluster here makes uh, four nines. Or triple, what is it? Triple, yeah, four nines. It makes 36, yeah, four nines. This makes triple nine. And then all these guys in here knit together to make, wow, wow, look at that, triple nine, triple nine, triple nine. Oh my goodness, we just found the three 27s in video game, like, in a beautiful, symmetrical fashion. Here it is. Wow, if you waited this long, you got more glory. Triple nine, and then now, here, here's another triple nine. And then in the middle here is a final triple nine. Wow, three teams of 27s from the inside out. Glory to God. The three letters in the, se and the, three letters in the center with the O at the dead center, just like Jehovah. The three letters in the center make triple nine. And then the four letters flanking them and two on the left and two on the right make another triple nine, 27. And then the uttermost, the rooks on the chessboard, the V and the E make a final tw 27, triple nine. Wow, I've just proven mathematically that every video game <laughs> exists for the glory of the triune God. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, and we need to see a revolution in video games and in what we're putting into video games from a content perspective, from a purpose perspective, and from a enjoyment perspective. Um, but all that will come through impartation of truth and the Spirit of God to little boys at a young age. It all comes down to fatherhood, folks. <laughs> it all comes down to children being fed the truth well and lovingly from their crib. <laughs> it's that simple. Okay? And a willingness to learn. I'm age 33 by divine ordinance. I'm aware that God is revealing all these threes to me in the 33rd year of my life. I was led to make this piece of artwork from the $33 that I received from a friend on my 33rd birthday that had no idea I was receiving these numbers revelations. Um, 
and uh, never stop learning about God. Ask God to teach you and show you as much about himself as he can every single day. Listen in prayer. Listen far more than you talk. Listen for the voice of God. Wait to hear the voice of God in silence. He loves you and he will grow you in the knowledge of himself regardless of whether or not anyone is teaching you. The Bible says they shall all be taught by God. You don't need to go to Bible school. You don't need to go to seminary. I've never been to either. You know, apart from just visiting, I've never attended either. You don't, um, you don't need anything except a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ, and He can literally download you with as much information as quickly as possible as He wants to. If you're willing and ready to receive it, He'll say, All right, son, here's your 8,000 gigabit connection. I'm downloading you with revelations that no one has ever seen or heard about me in the history of the universe, and you're just going to love it. <laughs> um... And I've said before that this entire world is like unto a video game where we travel, we treasure hunt, we find things, we, you know, we solve things. And, and uh, again, nothing compares to the true story of God. Nothing compares to the video game, as it were, <laughs> the, the giant one-shot deal true story of world history in this world that God created. It's his giant video game, if you will, uh, with all sorts of characters involved. Um, and so, anyways, but that's, that's so cool. So, 27, 27, 27. Wow. And so, what, that is structured the exact same way as God's personal name, Jehovah. How should you talk to God? What is his name? Say Jehovah. Say Jehovah. Because when you say Jehovah, like God told us to, okay, you're confessing the triune nature. Because look at all the threes in that divine text, Jehovah. You're, you're saying... You're literally praying to God the Father, you're praying to Jesus Christ the Son, you're praying to the Trinity, the Holy Ghost, the third person. And God loves his triune nature so much, so that if you just say Jehovah, then um, that's perfect. That's what he loves to hear. He says, thank you for understanding that I am three in one. Thank you for understanding. And um, as another gem for you, that, that name Jehovah literally means the existing one. Literally, the existing three in one. Amazing. Just very deep, very profound. The Hebrew word for life um, comes from the same three glyph root as Jehovah, his personal name. God is, he calls himself the living God. He is the God of the living and not the dead. And he is the God who gives eternal life. Jesus rose from the dead. That was the ultimate enemy. Death is your ultimate enemy. You need someone to save you from the grave, to protect you from death and separation from God. His name is Jesus Christ. Um, and uh, so God loves life. He is pro-life. We solve the word pro-life in our other videos. The book ends May 21, and then every letter divides by three, going down from there in the center. 18, 15, 12, 9, 6. It's too divine. God is pro-life. Okay? God hates abortion. God loves life. God loves multiplication. God loves more people. God loves happiness. And, okay. Video game. That's so cool. Perfectly parallel. That's, stare at that. Just stare at the beauty of it. Beauty is symmetry. 27, 27, 27. Half a love, half a love, half a love. So again, you could pick, again, now you could, you could pick the, the bookends and the three center letters to make your love. God leads us to find love in everything. Well, we took the center, first of all. Now you can do this. You can pick any pair of the 27s to make your love. The outer two teams, the inner two teams, or a pitchfork effect. Love. And I actually like that one dramatically a lot, because it's just, I always like capturing the, the rooks, the, the, the ends, and the center as well. So, um, and, man, it's just shocking. Man, I'm seeing 27's galore. Now you could put this V and the E together to make 27. And you could put this O and this G and the E together to make 27. Shocking. It's just loaded. Video game. I'm going to start crying. Because I loved video games as a kid. And we need to get set free from our sin. We need to get set free from some bitterness. Folks, I have to confess, I had some bad experiences at certain game development companies 
Because the people aren't saved. They're, they're full of dirt. They're full of grime. And you get bad ideas. And the project is cursed because people aren't even going to heaven. They're not confessed Jesus Christ. They don't have the blessing of God on them. So it makes for a strife-filled environment. And, but I'm like, as a kid, I loved video games. I loved like the Mario 64 and these joyful, colorful, beautiful sound effects. And um, we need people to get saved. And then, yeah, sure, if, if God calls you to a video game, like, if, if you just, it's all about you being in a personal relationship with God. And you'll know what you're supposed to be doing once you're saved and you're filled with the Holy Ghost. You really should do, do what you love. You should do what you love. You should be around the people that you love to be around. Okay. I want to try and focus, stay on the numbers here because that's eternal. Um, I gave him a, oh, let's solve Zelda. Let's solve Sonic. Well, they both divide by three. You can do those two for homework. Book ended with 27, and there's another nine. Like, what a cool name, Zelda. It's, it perfectly mirrors Jehovah from the inside out. 12 plus 9, 21 uh, plus 28, 48. There you go. Sonic is 48 plus another 12, 60. These are, these are like two of the biggest characters in video games, Zelda, Sonic. Mario is super easy to solve. He knits together with Luigi to divide by three, and that's really obvious. I'm going to show you a secret. I'm going to show you one of the coolest secrets that has ever been found in the true video game of life and the story of God right now. I guarantee you no one in history has ever seen this um, that I'm going to show you right now. Watch this. This is to the glory of God. Mario and Luigi, I want to show you something. This is going to blow your mind, and you're going to just be like, what the... Mario and Luigi are a very special pair of characters. And this is why. By the way, this is the first time I've ever had this occur to me in my entire lifetime. There are only three letters in Mario and Luigi that do not divide by three. Well, lo and behold, they are precisely the three letters that are at the root of game. G-A-M. Gaming, gamers, gamed, gameology. Good night. Here they are. The M and the A are at the beginning of Mario, and the G is in Luigi, and the rest of the letters all divide by three. Yes! <laughs> We've just solved Mario and Luigi to the glory of the Trinity. Now you know why they exist, now you know why they have the names that they have, now you know why they're the most famous characters in video game history. Isn't it cool that Mario needs Luigi? <laughs> it's all a testimony to God's team nature. Okay. Isn't it cool that the most famous character in video game history, he is glorious because Mario divides by eight. Okay. And anything in that glorify, I can go into eight land if you want. And Mario is 56, a seven set of eights, which glorifies Jesus equals eight today. But the be more beautiful glory and the more beautiful truth is that Mario and Luigi. The original Mario game was, of course, Super Mario Brothers. And the word brothers divides by three. And the brothers is loaded. The bookends make 21, and there's three letters that divide by three in the center. And then there's the famous word the, which is king for three as well. Super Mario Brothers. And what's obvious about that is that the word super then knits together with Mario. Because super has a plus one in front of this gold train of threes. And so when you say Super Mario, that divides by three. And then when you say Super Mario Brothers, that divides by three. Stick the word that in front. The Super Mario Brothers. The famous Super Mario Brothers. The great famous Super Mario. The only Super Mario Brothers. That all divides by three, by divine arms. But what is so cool is that it's Mario plus Luigi. It's a team of people, literally, that work together to get the job done. Because God is three persons. Isn't it, the cool, isn't it so cool? that the most famous video game character in the history of video games actually needs to have Luigi <laughs> in order for this perfect three fest. So, um, so there's the three letters game. Okay. By the way, <laughs> I can see video games capitalizing on this number three thing like crazy. Video games are the classic place where you see threes. Three lives. <laughs> three stars.
three levels of tier in, in how you complete a level. You know, a game like Uniracers, did you get the gold, did you get the silver, did you get the bronze? You start with three lives. Like, we all know that we love this number three, but like, once there's an awakening to how God is so nuts about the number three, every intelligently designed and produced video game will have as many threes in it as possible. Literally as many as possible. Someone needs to create a video game that is pure threes. Like, I'm just, seriously, like everything is a three. <laughs> and watch how God blesses your video game. It'll just sound like wildfire. Make sure the title has threes in it. Maybe it'll call the, the name of the game is 333. Like that's the actual title of the video game is 333. And all you do in this video game is you like shoot threes in like outer space or something. And they... <laughs> um, well, actually, the first video game that should be created is what we're doing right here. Arranging letters and, so, and creating words that make beautiful multiples of three, and anyway. Um, so, Super Mario, so Mario plus Luigi, game, at the root of it, G-A-M, that's obvious. G-A-M makes 21, and then all the rest of the letters divide by three. Good night. So what does Mario plus Luigi add to? Um, 50, well, can you find love in Mario and Luigi? Of course you can, they're brothers. Uh, that is 54 right there. And then you've got another 39 plus 21, 60. So Mario plus Luigi is 114, dividing by 3. Um, and, uh, and so now let's get Super Mario. That is 33 plus um, 21, love. Wow, Super Mario, you can find two loves, plus another 24, triple A. So Super Mario is um, 132 for the number three. And then Brothers, um, how much does Brothers add? 21 plus, look at the word Brothers, by the way. Brothers, bookends and together. Three letters divided by three, famous word that divides by three. That is uh, 51 plus 33 is 84 plus 21 is 105. Oh my goodness. So Super Mario Brothers is um, 237. Wow. Divides by three. So there you go. We solved Mario and Luigi. But my, my favorite gem with Mario and Luigi is the fact that the only three letters that don't divide by three equals G-A-M. The three letter root of gaming and games and gamers. Done. Wow. So so this is this is an easy way to start the game in in solving what God has ordained. Pick the biggest, most famous names in a given realm. Put, pick, literally you're picking the most famous words in a given realm of God's story. So for example if I bring onto the table the world of video games, what are some of the biggest, most famous words that come to mind in the world of video games? The most obvious is fun, play, Mario, you know, Luigi, Sonic, and then companies, Nintendo, Sega, Atari, and they can all be solved, and you go to the root of them, and you solve the founders, and, and see all the threes, and, and all that stuff, okay. There you go. Um, so cool. So video game. And this is the particular one that I just received from Jehovah. And he keeps saying to me, he said, find love in video game and find it we did in Perfect Beauty, and then Developer. Oh man, Developer was loaded so beautiful. And then Computer, of course, equals 111, and on and on and on. And then Console, the root of that divides by 3, and then Consoles divides by 3. Okay, so Video Game Consoles divides by 3, for example. Okay. Um, joy. Praise God. That is awesome. Awesome equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Oh man, equals 33.